Hi everyone, it's Blair from Destination RV in Ontario, Canada. We've got a brand new 2016 Camp Light travel trailer. It's the 11FK model. It's single axle, weighs about 2,000 pounds. Guys, this is an all aluminum structure. There's no wood, there's no steel in the structure at all. We're going to go around the outside, we'll head inside, and I'll show you the uh, the uh, new 2016 Alpine interior, what it looks like, and uh, the way this was optioned, and also some key features of the Camp Light travel trailer. We're going to come up to the front here. Sorry about the sun. It's actually a uh, it's really nice. I was supposed to go to double-digit temperatures this week in the positive side, so that's great. Um, on the front, you'll notice you've got a nice black exterior stone guard here. goes all the way across, and it goes extra high as well in behind the two propane tanks. Now, this is new this year. Um, before, the Camp Light 11FK only had one 20-pound propane tank. They have now two. There's a battery mount in behind. And then, of course, you've got a 2-inch ball. This is a 2-inch coupler. It's not a 2 and 5 sixteenths. And then you've got a swivel tongue jack as well. Now, when we say it's all aluminum, uh, it is all aluminum. You'll notice the outside. It's not fiberglass. It's actually a vacuum bonded uh, laminated side wall. So what they do is they take the exterior aluminum, which is 040, and they bond it to Asdell interior. Uh, same, same stuff as the interior panel. It's a moisture and mold resistant board. Uh, and, and of course, you can, you can notice here you've got a horizontal seam. There's no vertical seam. So less chance for water infiltration. Now, running down the side here, you'll notice you've got the refrigerator vent. Um, you've also got the furnace exhaust on the outside. Now, just to the left of the furnace exhaust, you'll see you've got a black tank flush. So that is to flush out the sewer system after your camping trip. And coming towards the back here of uh, the driver's side, we also have your city water and fresh water hookups. Um, the left is your fresh water fill. And then, of course, on the right, you've got your city water hookup. Now, right next to that, in the hatch here, you've got an outside shower, uh, hot and cold. And then, of course, below, you've got your discharge for the black and gray water holding tanks. Now, while we're underneath, we're going to look at, there's your holding tank for your black water uh, mounted on the front. And then also your fresh water is just above the axle, underneath the trailer. Most trailers will have them inside. Um, this one's underneath outside. Now, we're, we are running a torsion axle. There's no leaf spring suspension. So as you can see here, it's one complete axle, but it is mechanically fastened and protected onto the aluminum bracket. And this allows for independent wheel suspension. So you're not gonna have the trailer bouncing back and forth like you would find on a lot of small travel trailers uh, or utility trailers. We've also got 13 inch radial tires and aluminum rims. It does come with a spare mounted underneath the trailer. And then just behind the axle, you'll notice you've got your cable hookups, 30 amp power connection, and your gas and electric DSI water heater. Now, this tube down here, right next to the high and low point drain, is for your sewer hose. All right, running along the back here, you've got a nice uh, large dual pane Euro style window. Um, you've also got a storage box just below on the outside and it's got a magnet door holder. Now on each corner of the Camp Light travel trailers, um, you'll notice uh, on this specific model, the 11FK, you've got full down stabilizer jacks. They're meant for stabilizing the trailer while you're walking through, uh, not leveling the trailer, guys, so keep that in mind. Now coming along the door side, you'll notice you've got an, uh, an awning. It's, I think it's about eight feet long, comes out eight feet, uh, manual awning, and then you've also got some nice large dual pane euro style windows they are tinted guys they're not uh, just plain windows anymore they have tinted them now as well as you've got an exterior receptacle on the door side so if you want to hook up a TV you can do that so there's the features for the 2016 Camp Light 11 FK on the outside we're now gonna head inside I'll show you what the Alpine interior looks like okay so you've got a screen door to the right of the main entry door here, you've got a nice kitchen. You've got your stainless steel sink with the high-rise faucet, two burner range with the glass cover, and that just drops down in place. You've got the nice solid surface countertop. That's part of the 2016 decor change. And below, you've got all your switches and uh, your water pump switch. You've got your GFI receptacle, water heater switch, and then a 12-volt USB um, cigarette lighter, car charger, that runs off of the 12 volt battery that comes with the trailer. So having a look at the storage underneath, you can see there's lots of cabinets and storage space. 
okay? And of course you can access your plumbing if you should ever need to. I'd have to say these windows are probably one of my favorite features on the Camp Light Travel Trailers. These are awesome day and night roller shades. So there's your night shade up and your day shade comes down, okay? You can open up the windows by releasing the, night, the day shade, tilt them out, and then of course lock them in place. All right, so to the left of the kitchen, you'll notice you've got a nice pantry here. Okay, lots of space. You've got another cabinet below. And then, of course, you've got your bathroom. It's a wet bath, guys, so what does that mean? It's got a complete shower surround. It's all aluminum shower surround. And it does come with a foot flush toilet. Now, this toilet is a porcelain base toilet. And uh, on this particular unit, with the wet bath combination, your shower and toilet is all together in one. you got a nice 12-volt powered fan up top and, of course, an LED light. All right, out of the bathroom and coming to the left of the bathroom, we've got a nice shirt closet here. Okay, lots of space. And we saw that beautiful aluminum construction in behind. Now, just below that, you've got a, uh, it's about a two and a half cubic foot refrigerator, which is really handy. No more cooler. You got a furnace below. And then just to the left of the furnace is your electrical panel. So otherwise known as your um, power converter. You've got some interior receptacles, CO2 LP detector, and then a portable table. So you can remove this table, put it outside if you wish. you got lots of windows. It's nice and bright in here, lots of natural light, ample amount of windows for the size of trailer with tons of overhead cabinets. Two lights above, and then of course you've got the air conditioner. It's a 13,500 BTU air conditioner, and you've got a fantastic fan. Now we option this with a fantastic fan um, and this way you can set the temperature inside on the actual fan itself. Uh, there's a knob right there, okay, and you can change the temperature. Um, and then, of course, you can control the speeds. Large blades suck the air right out. On the overhead cabinets here to the left, you've got um, your TV antenna coax cable, uh, interior receptacle as well. And there's a speaker here. Okay, so you got a speaker for your uh, interior sound hooked up to your AM FM radio. It is also a DVD player. That just opens up like so. Okay, and you can put your DVD in. Now, to the left of that, you've got your 22 inch LED TV that comes with it. A lot of people ask, is there storage underneath? There is. There is storage underneath the benches here. All you've got to do is lift up. And you can see, uh, I can't get it up all the way right now because uh, there's the outside access uh, hatch. But you do have storage underneath. Again, all aluminum construction. There's no, no wood inside of here at all. Um, it's all aluminum. The only wood that they have on the new 2016 decor is the wood front inserts. Okay, everything else is aluminum or Asdell. Um, and just these panels here are the only wood. And that was because that's... They have to use that wood front insert um, on the new interior decor, but no big deal. You can replace the door if it ever gets wet. But your structure is more important. Keep it all aluminum. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the brand new 2016 Camp Light 11FK with the charcoal exterior and the Alpine interior. Lots of features on here. Don't miss out. We're bringing out new Living Light videos all the time. And uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on Facebook, visit our website. If you're interested in this Camp Light 11FK, it's 2,000 pounds, all aluminum, give us a call.